All right, ladies and gentlemen. This is something special to me. It's, uh, I'd call it almost my side project, if you will. So, right now, we are playing through Pokemon X. And while we are playing through Pokemon X, we are uh, having a fun time. You know, it's basically a blind playthrough, and I have a bunch of eggs from viewers that were so nice enough to provide them. Thank you so much for everyone who did provide them. I greatly appreciate it. We'll definitely do something like this in the future. However, <laughs> conversely, I'm trying to complete my Pokedex. So I need to play through both X and Y. So this Y is going to be a little bit special. Because each segment I do on Pokemon X, I'm going to be playing through on Y in the background. Now, I'm not going to show you all the gameplay. I'm not going to give as much witty commentary. This one's a little bit special. This is going to be hints and tips of things, especially as the new game comes out. You know, people are eventually going to want to come back and look at the old games again because nostalgia and such. So, this is basically going to be tips and tricks to help you. So, each segment we do on X, I will probably do an upload of this as well in the future for important things you need to know about. So, without further ado, we shall begin! So first things first, when you first enter the forest here, off of uh, Route 2, um, the mighty mighty uh, Shauna is going to tag along behind you and heal your Pokemon. Very helpful, especially if you're trying to grind up this early game because you don't have the XP at all. She's a very handy tool to have, contrary to all the smack I was talking. But the first thing you're going to want to do is come over here. Over here is an antidote. It's one antidote. At the beginning of the game, this is the only freaking antidote you can get. You need to grab it because it is your only chance of being able to cure poison inside the bug gym. Alright, random piece of unnoticed trivia. If you start as a boy, which this is the first time I've ever played through as a boy, because reasons, uh, Serena looks completely different than your female avatar. Her hairstyle is more like a hairstyle you can buy in Lumio City. Her hair is not quite matching the same as her uh, skin color, and her clothing is different. But if you pick the female character, the boy character does look identical to your, the male model. Just thought I'd point that out! Alright, this is one of my favorite scenes at the beginning of the game. It's when you all run together. I don't know why. The little kid of me thinks, that's amazing! When you get to this point on Route 3, something interesting happens. And I thought I'd share that with you. Remember that. She will be important later. I promise. So, moments ago for you, and about an hour ago for me, I said this lady would become important, the roller skated by us. Turns out, this nice lady in front of the gym in the next town over will give you your uh, roller skates if you beat her in a battle. So. so, once you defeat her, soundly, she'll say that you're as strong as the gym leader, and here's some really, really nice roller skates. So, if we use the stellar uh, D-pad... We now have roller skates. We are now substantially faster than we were originally. And if you double... Now here's another one though. If you double tap, you'll go faster temporarily. So if you double tap the circle, it's like it starts off in a sprint almost. Fun facts, it's just a slightly faster way of getting around than walking. Especially prior to getting the bicycle. It's a very useful thing to have. What we're doing right now. Here's the secret about Santa Loon Gym. Once you go down this pole, you do not come back up. You cannot come back up without either getting defeated by the uh, gym leader or beating the gym leader. Another very important fact is... The other very important fact in here is... Say you get... You know, you're worried. This place is a little bit of a maze, you would think. But if you just follow these water droplets, it'll take you right to the gym leader. Hell, it even skips some of the player battles... Or some of the gym battles in here, too, if you're not looking for XP. Just the funnest of facts. So see, like, little Timmy over here? I'm gonna call him Timmy for now. We wouldn't have to fight it. We can just keep following the road around if we wanted to. Alright, now here's the key reason you need an antidote. The trainer right before the gym leader has a Kakuna that knows poison sting and another Pokemon that knows poison attacks. You need to hold on to that antidote and only, if you, if you can muster it, obviously, you only want to fight her with one Pokemon at a time. Um, one of your good bets would be a Fletchling that you can get early on. At level 10 learns Peck, which is super effective against both her Pokemon and both the Gym Leader's Pokemon. 
Yes, so when you face her, you're gonna want... Preferably a flying type, like I said, uh... Fletchling would be great. You want him to be around level 10. Preferably, if you can manage it and take the time, it's gonna take you about an hour or two. If you can get a whole team of level 10s, which you'll have at a level advantage because just across your team, there's more. I obviously got eggs and bread what I needed for each gym. That's irrelevant. It doesn't change the fact. If you got a Fletchling, you could easily take out this gym. Or if you got a Fennekin at the beginning, that would also be a good choice as well. Um, the only concern you have to worry about is Surskit's water. Surskit is still weak to rock, though, because of the bug typing. But it's really up to you how you want to go. Once you beat the uh, gym leader, she gives you a very special TM called uh, Infestation. It's a really nice TM because it makes it so wild Pokemon can't escape from you. Um, I believe that also makes it so they can't run. That means they can't whirlwind you away, and that means they can't roar you away. I could be mistaken, though. I will have to test it out in the future and give you further answers to that. Alright, so you've beaten the gym, you're thinking to yourself, what is something else that's really important to get right now? I'm gonna skate over here. Maybe. If I had the skills. Talk to this nice lady. She will give you the XP all. Which is invaluable, really. Now you can turn this thing off or on, but it makes it so no matter what happens, all your Pokemon can uh, gain XP simultaneously. With that being said, you can turn it off if you like, if you feel that's too easy. Quote unquote. And the only way to get the XP all is to beat the gym leader. If you don't beat the gym leader, this nice lady will not give it to you. Hope you enjoyed my little tutorial of the first little piece of uh, Pokemon Y. And I look forward to seeing y'all next time. If you haven't already, please hit a like. If you haven't already, subscribe. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye!